Today's video is sponsored by Vendu. Hi everybody and good morning, good evening. I'm filming this in the morning. It's Halloween today. I'm not sure when you'll see this, but it's a nice cool day. It should be good for the trick-or-treaters tonight. They might have to bundle up a little bit. I went to Savers on Saturday with Jay and I found some really amazing things and I really was not expecting to have such a good day. been good about showing what I'm picking up today, but I don't know this um, Catherine Barkley brand. It just, it looks interesting. I'm going to look into that. This is a Club Monaco dress that I really love. It's a double zero. Prices here are getting even heftier. This, these I'm getting for Angie. Just cute little wide leg Zara jeans. These seven for all mankind. They're um, faux leather and a little bit of a straight leg, high-waisted, and they are made with tag, size medium. Again, expensive, but today I have 30% off. Found some Spanx, priced really reasonable. Um, extra large is always good. These I'm not sure about, because these are good American, but they're skinny legs and they're $9. I'm not sure about those. This bag looked really interesting. I don't know what it is about it. The structure is really nice. Eric Javits, New York. It's like brand new. Price is only $5.99. This was the very first thing I saw when I came in. Um, Patagonia for 15 bucks. So it's tropical. Okay, the guys that came out and this was on and it is so soft. I love it. And I got some really nice bras that I will show you. The very first thing that I saw when I got there was this awesome jacket from Patagonia. I will say that the stuff that I found, a few of the things were found on the new rack that was coming out. It was a Saturday and my husband loves the grocery store. Me, not so much. I'm like Jay in a thrift store. I love to go through every aisle. I can be there all day. That's how he is at the grocery store. And when I'm at the grocery store, I'm usually like, let me get in and get out. It just so happens that the grocery store that we sometimes go to is right next door to Savers. And Jay and I are getting back on our Noom grind. I think I do a review on my other channel. It was about a year ago that I did it, but we are, we are back at Noom. We're trying to do like eight weeks before Christmas. So in order to do well on Noom, we actually need to have groceries in the house because we've been eating out so much. So I said to Jay, how about you go to the grocery store and I'll go to Savers and it worked out really great. So I really was only expecting to go in for about an hour and putz around and, and not expecting to see too much. But the second I went in, I found this Patagonia. Um, it's such a beautiful coat. I'm pretty sure I've sold this before. It's pleated right here. So it's a little bit fitted and then it goes out just a little bit. See the pleating in the back? It's just so well constructed. It's the material of a better sweater or that's at least that's what it feels like um, this is a woman's size medium so this was on a new rack it was priced at $14.99 and there was like a little it looks like you know someone had a meal and dropped a little bit it was like crusty on on the chest right here tina said that when she steamed it it came right off so that was fantastic and it's in beautiful condition uh, i will say also about patagonia is that they sweater shave really nicely so you can really resurrect a patagonia piece um, just last week when i was in boston i don't think that video has come out yet i found a patagonia better sweater but they had it priced at twenty dollars and it was kind of a mess um, so i left it behind but i thought this was more of a unique piece. What I just discovered is that Patagonia has a section on their website called Worn Wear by Patagonia. So this is the better sweater coat. Okay, that makes sense why it feels like the better sweater. It's the better sweater coat and it is on their website used for 107 to 134 dollars they have three different versions of this the retail on this is 179 dollars 30 percent off i paid about 10 or 11 dollars i'm so excited about this hoping to get around 50 to 60 resale so that was a great way to start my thrift trip next up is a brand that i have just finally decided to say i love this brand it doesn't always sell very well but every time i find especially a newer piece from club monaco i just love their stuff 
And I think maybe now, and this, this has no scientific basis at all, but in my opinion, because they're such a minimalist style, I think that this company could probably do better now than they would have even done like five or six years ago because their stuff is so streamlined and beautiful. So I found this dress. This has already been steamed. It retails for $229. I found one online. Um, they have it listed new with tag for $65 and I'm not surprised surprised about that because there isn't a great resale value on this. I just think this dress is adorable. And I even think it would look really cute in the fall because it's a fall color with like a cardigan sweater over it or just in warmer states. But I love the pleating on the front. It is a double zero. It's just beautiful. And I think this, this was priced at $15 too. And I just loved it that much. So I grabbed it. I think it's a really, really cute dress. The detailing on the front is so nice. I'm not sure about sold comps, but $229, the Patagonia jacket for $179. So right off the bat, first two items, $400 retail value. Even though the prices at Savers are expensive, I still found that worthwhile. So a lot of the sold comps on Club Monaco dresses range between, you know, as low as 25, but as high as like 100, $110. If I could get 40 to $50 for this, I would be thrilled. I know it won't be as much of a high profit, but I really loved that. Next up is a bra. The comps were great on this. Never heard of this brand. It was new with tag. It was priced at like $10.49 before the discount, so I paid about $7 and change. The brand is Evelyn Bobby. Has anybody ever heard of this brand? Let me know in the comments if you've had any success selling this or if you've worn this bra before. It's called the Beyond Bra on their website right now for $88. And the comps on these are like $50 to $60. I couldn't believe it. It's got a really comfy wide band on the back. This is a size large. I love the color. Yeah, it's just really nice and it's wireless. I have yet to find a wireless bra that is comfortable enough or supportive enough to wear all day. Um, so this really intrigued me. So excited I picked this up. I love, love, love picking up bras that have really good comps. And I actually found a second bra on this day by Third Love that I grabbed. Third Love is always an automatic yes for me as long as it's priced right because they sell consistently for between, I would say, $25 and $35. So if I can pick it up for five bucks, I know it will move for me. So I got a black one, but not seeing it in this pile. Tina photographed all of these, and usually with our system, I usually film before things get photographed, and then it goes right into inventory. So we're working a little backwards here because Tina photographed stuff, and now I brought it all back upstairs. So I'm not sure where that bra ended up. Oh, here it is, Third Love. You've probably seen these before. They're very basic and there's not really anything that makes them stand out except for this little tag, which is not always easy to spot. It's black, which I love. And what size is this? This is the 24-7 bra and it is a 34G and I can barely see that here on the tag. Yeah, so this is one that you kind of have to keep an eye out for, but if you can find Third Love, it sells very well. So yeah, these two bras together will probably sell for $75. And I think this might have been five or six before the discount, and then this. And then I got myself a Bally bra. The Bally or, yeah, or Warner's, I don't know. I always buy the same type of bra, and it was mint, mint, and mine, the one I bought was $2.99. Um, but I'm really intrigued by that Evelyn Bobby bra. Okay, next up I found some really good pants and these I believe came out on a new rack as well. And it wasn't like I was running over to the new rack. They were just coming out with so many things. There were people looking at the racks before me in some cases, but I just kind of had laser focus because I knew I had limited time and I found some great stuff. So these are good American jeans. And what I can't get over is that these are a size 14. These I wanna try on, not necessarily to keep them, but I just, can't believe how much they're going to stretch because these do not look like a 14 to me. These look like an 8 or a 10. They have a lot of distressing. I found some stock photos on these with the pocket. There's something something with the pocket in the title. Um, you know what? I know I did a draft on these in Vendu, so let me just look. These are the Good American Good Legs Check Back Pocket Jeans. I almost didn't get these because they were a skinny jean, but honestly, I was so intrigued by 
the fact that these were a size 14 and I'm just wondering how the fit is, how the comfort is so I can speak to them in the future, but I am probably going to list them for about $50. Um, the price tag on these was $8.99 before the discount. These were right next to those and these are another skinny jean that I will always pick up and that is the Spanx jegging. Um, in an extra large. This is this is like a fantastic combo. I've sold their jeggings before. So I had two pairs of distressed leggings and they were both extra large. I had one priced at $68, one priced at $59, and somebody put them in a bundle and purchased them for $100. And these were like $629 or $599. Hopefully all of these prices, um, or some of the prices at least I showed in the thrift with me portion, but again, all the tags have been removed because we um, photographed those. But two great pairs of jeans. I also got a really nice pair of Zara wide leg jeans for Angelina. I'm starting my kids thrifted gift bags. Every year I do a big savers bag full of thrifted items for each of the kids. It's become like they're stocking really, like they get so excited about it. Last year I filmed it unedited, like just 15 minutes of the kids opening their gifts. They agreed to it, which I was really surprised about. Hopefully I'll do that again this year because it was really fun to see their reactions and you guys seem to really like that. So hopefully I will film that again on Christmas morning, provided I get permission. Okay, I want to take a quick minute to thank today's sponsor, Vendu. Vendu is a service that allows you to cross post all of your items to multiple marketplaces. They help you diversify so you have multiple streams of income. Today is kind of special for me or this month, I should say, because this is the most money that I've ever made on eBay in one month and it's not huge numbers i don't do huge numbers i do about five thousand dollars in sales a month but usually about three quarters of that comes from poshmark this month i started back on whatnot so i have about 800 in sales on whatnot poshmark is creeping up on 3000 it's one of my lower months for poshmark but on ebay this month and i'm shooting this on october 31st i'm at 1852 dollars and i have vendu to thank for that because without vendu I know myself, I have a lot going on and cross-listing to multiple platforms. It just wouldn't happen without Vendu. Vendu is the number one software for online resellers. I just did a live event with Vendu last week, a virtual event. One of the questions that came up was the use of the mobile app and what its capabilities were and if I use it. Yes, 100% we use it. We draft everything in the mobile app. We take pictures on my iPhone. We upload them to Vendu. Vendu then offers the service service now to remove the background on some of your photos. They've partnered with Photo Room. I love that I can remove the background right in Vendu now. And then we'll do a quick title and a description, and then we save the item in the mobile app. Then I can hop over onto my laptop and then I can do some of the nitty gritty. You can do everything from start to finish on the mobile app. You can do everything from start to finish on your desktop using the Chrome extension, or you can do a combination of the two, which is what I do. The feature that I love the most is the automatic sales detection and delist feature. So if I sell something on eBay, it will automatically detect it and remove it from Poshmark and vice versa. It's only available on those two platforms currently, but I know they are working on adding more marketplaces. One thing to note is if you sell a bundle on Poshmark, I just recently learned this, with the auto delist, it only delists the first item. If you've sold like a three-piece bundle, you'll still have to go in and mark it sold, and then it will delist from the other platforms. But in a bundle, that auto sales detection and delist applies to the first item in the bundle. I thought that was helpful to share. Lumpy does not like when I film. He's getting a little antsy. If you'd like to give Vendu a try, click the link in my description. You'll save 25% off your first month of service. You guys will love it. I've been with this company since 2019. They care about the reseller community. They are part of the reseller community. They're not just people who develop software. They are in the trenches with us and they have our best interest at heart. And I don't know where my business would be without Vendu. All right, back to the haul. <laughs> Say bye to your friends. Are we done? Are we done? Are you a cutie? I love you. Tell everyone they should download Vendu and save 25%. Vendu's mascot right here. This was a new rack that came out in the men's department and I was just so excited to find Ferrity. I love selling this brand. And this is such a soft, 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 I cannot tell you how soft this is. It looks like a very basic flannel, but it has so much stretch. You know, I'm looking at this, I think this is women's. 
Although the arms are pretty long. I'll have to look this up. It's very, very slim for men. Does, maybe because it's a stretch? I don't know. It's this great plaid. Oh my gosh, this is so cozy. It's so cozy. And I don't think Faraday's known for like super cozy. This is like Barefoot Dreams cozy. So nice. In a size small. Let me look this up. You know, I really think this is a men's. If I'm looking at this the right place, it looks like it's called the Legend Sweater Shirt. Yeah, these button-down plaid ones, they're $178. This is crazy to me. I usually don't find these kinds of brands in abundance like this at my local savers. This is stuff that I usually find when I'm closer to Boston. So I was thrilled to find this. And also, Saturdays tend to be really busy. And so I feel like it's more picked over. And we went middle of the day. So this was amazing to me. $178. I will probably list that for $50 or $60. I still have to look and see where we're at with that. But wow, that was amazing. Okay, next up. This is a brand that I pass on most of the time, but these were new with Tag, and I just thought they were fantastic. The brand is Seven for All Mankind, new with Tag. These are about $250 pants, and I think these were like that 15, 14 to $15, and then I had the 30% off, but how nice are these? I love this caramel color. They are so nice, and also, they have just like that straight leg. So right on trend right now, perfect for the fall. I'm always mentioning things that stretch for Thanksgiving. I don't think you get much stretch on these for Thanksgiving, but they would still look really cute for the occasion. These are a size medium. Um, I'm hoping to get like between 40 and 50 for these. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, I could not believe the stuff coming out this day. I don't think these were on a new rack necessarily. Looked like somebody had looked at them and like put them down. So I was happy to scoop those up. <laughs> this was kind of a funny moment. I have been trying to find my husband shoes that slip on. He always wears tie lace up shoes like Oxford's. And I'm like, you know, work is so casual now. He either wears sneakers or he wears lace-up Oxfords. I'm like, why don't you just get a nice pair of loafers? He goes, because I, he is like a crazy walking machine. Jay probably averages like 25,000 steps a day on his Fitbit. He's annoying, but he loves to walk. So I've been determined to find him a pair of loafers that he can walk in. So I found these and they looked so good. They were in mint condition. So these are Merrell's. Look at the back of these, like the leather is so nice. I'm like, this is good. I mean, my husband's an accountant. He's back in the office four days a week. I'm like, this would be perfect. And then when he does his like four mile walks in Boston um, on his lunch breaks, this would be great. It has a lot of traction. So he he's outside of Savers. He's like, are you ready? I got Dunkin's. And so I know he was like done. Cause once, if he goes and he's still killing time and he goes to Dunkin Donuts to get coffee, then I know he's ready. So I said, come in, I have a pair of shoes. I wanna show you, I wanna get them for you. So he comes in, I'm like, I got these shoes, they're really nice. He's like, what size are those? I'm like, they're 10 and a half. He's like, we've been married 28 years. I'm a size nine and a half, Lori. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were like a size 10. He goes, well, even if I was a size 10, those wouldn't fit me. These will be for sale. The comps on these are about 35 to $45. These are in excellent, excellent condition. Like really great condition. They're Merrell's and they are a size 10 and a half. So if I ever need a reminder, Jay's shoe size is nine and a half. I felt really bad. Luckily the coffee was still hot in the car, so we were good with that. I grabbed these because I just think that Skechers sell pretty well. These were like $8.49 before the discount. They're a size 10 women's. Skechers air-cooled arch fit. Just a nice little comfort shoe um, in really excellent condition in a size 10, easy to photograph. I think I started looking for Skechers because my mom wanted a pair to replace. And so I started looking for them, looking for them online. It's not that like, they're crazy expensive, but I think that people, um, once they get used to like the memory foam and the comfort of these shoes, they go back to them. So I have just found them to be a good little flip. So I grabbed those. Okay, last up is this handbag that I really love. Again, a new brand to me. Usually I find my new brands closer to Boston. The bra brand was new and this brand was new to me. Uh, this bag was just in 
pristine condition, just excellent. I would definitely say that this is new without tag. Look at the inside, it's actually immaculate. So I did show this in my thrift with me portion. This is Eric Havitz or Javitz. I'm thinking that the J is silent. So there's the tag. And I feel like this look, this kind of like straw bag look is signature to his style. I saw some of these bags selling for over a hundred dollars. So I was excited to grab this. You know, when I looked at it, I'm like, this is a pretty heavily branded bag. The little tag here. And then I thought the hardware was really interesting on the side. More here, this was leather. The structure was beautiful. There were just a lot of signs telling me to look this up. So I'm glad that I did. And I'm hoping to get anywhere between, I would say, 45 and up to $100. I really don't know. I'm going to dig a little bit deeper and see where we can land on this, but this is a beautiful bag. Oh, I also found one other bag that I'm going to put on whatnot. Let me grab it. It's in the other room. Okay, so in the other room were the three things that we weren't planning to sell, so Tina didn't photograph them. My black bra, uh, Angie's Zara jeans, which I think are so cute. Look at these wide legs. Angie loves Zara. Zara isn't always a super high resale value, but these jeans are so cute. This is the Marine Straight. I might check out the comps on these. I just absolutely love these. I feel like I've sold the Marine Straight before and it's done really well. If the comps are really good, she might not be getting those. <laughs> no, I think she will love them. I picked up this Kate Spade bag. I just thought this was so cute for whatever reason. People on Whatnot love Kate Spade. I shouldn't say like they love it, but I feel like it sells comparable to what it would sell for on Poshmark or eBay, sometimes even more, and it sells really fast. And I think this is so cute for the holidays. This is new without tag because it still has the trim on this. This was priced towards the front of the store at My Savers. They have a whole rack that has like all their Coach, their Dooney and Burke, their Kate Spade, Michael Kors. So this was $16.99. And I didn't realize that it was new with tag at the time because the tag was kind of tucked in like this. But I looked at it and I'm like, wow, this is a really cute bag. I love the sparkle and I love that it's crossbody. It's super lightweight. It's big enough to fit some makeup, your phone, a wallet, just your essentials in here. I think this is fantastic and it'll be so cute for the holidays. So I think I'm gonna auction this off on my next uh, Whatnot show, which I believe is November 12th. I'm also planning to do like a thrift with me Whatnot where I take you into the store. There's the inside in there. I couldn't believe all the fun stuff that I found that day. So I was able to use the 30% off on the first $75. It was only good to $75. So once I hit $75, I got out of that transaction. I cashed out, I saved 30%. And then the second part of the transaction, I only got 20% off because I have my savers like club rewards. And also on this day, they were offering three times rewards. So I thought that was really interesting. I would really love it if my savers would start implementing a 50% off color because it is such a packed savers. And by packed, I mean the racks are packed and the donations in the back room, it's like they can't keep up with them. There have been several times where we've gone there with furniture and they've turned us away. And the guy there, we, we know him because we're always donating stuff. He's just like, I'm all alone. Like I, I can't keep up with this. And yet their prices are really high, but a lot of other savers have 50% off on one day. Um, I'm happy to see at least more 30% off coupons coming in, but the rewards basically, every time you spend $100, you get a point for every dollar, I believe, and every time you hit 100 points, you earn a 20% off coupon at my savers. And also every time you make a donation, they'll give you a coupon that you can also use for 20% off. But I wish the rewards for members were a little bit more. I'd love to see a few more 50% off sales there. They used to do them all the time pre-pandemic. Memorial Day, Labor Day, Veterans Day, Black Friday, they would always have a 50% off sale, but the store would get really, really packed. So then after the pandemic, when they started reissuing their coupons, they started to stagger them a little bit. So you'd get a coupon and instead of being good for one day, and instead of being 50%, it would be 30%, but it's good for a range of time. And I believe you can use the 30, some of the 30% coupons a couple of times within a certain time frame. So anyway, 
that's all for today. Let me know what you think. I was not expecting it to be this good. I was not expecting to get over $2,000 in retail um, with this quick trip. And then I got out to the car and I had a nice hot pumpkin spice coffee. Groceries were done and I got a haul in. So it was a good Saturday. Thank you guys so much. If you're seeing this on Halloween, happy Halloween. I hope it was a great one for you. And I'm here to say, bring on Christmas, November 1st. I love it. I love the Christmas season. So I'm always ready to put away the Halloween stuff and bust out the Christmas stuff. If you enjoyed today's video and you'd like to see more from me, be sure to subscribe, like it if you had a good time, and I'll be back real soon with another video. Thanks again to Vendu for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to click the link in my description to save 25% off your first month of service with Vendu. Thanks everybody. Bye.